Hi guys, I'm Kalila Reynolds and we're back with another episode of Money Moves brought to you in partnership with Exim Bank's Business Advisory Service. So, you have your product export ready. We're talking about exporting this week. And last week, Stephen Dawkins from the JMEA explained to us how to get your product ready for the export market. This week, Stephen is back. Welcome back, Stephen. Thanks for having me, Kalilo. Now that we're export ready, we've done all the things that you told us to do last week. What next? How do we get our products into another country? Okay, now that you have your product ready, and you, the important thing is that you have a buyer. This is what you need to do. You need to go to Jampro to register as an exporter, especially if you're a first-time buyer a first-time exporter rather. Then you need to register also with the trade board. If you're going to, especially if you're doing business with the Caribbean, well, anywhere generally speaking, because what, did, what is needed really is that the government need to know what leaves this country mm. in a formal way. And this is how they do their records and numbers of what goes out. So you have to register with the Ministry of in industry, commerce, agriculture, and fisheries, right. which is MICAF, the trade board, generally speaking. And then you start the process of getting your products from Jamaica here to whichever market you, you're going to. So you would need a shipper. You need a shipper to determine freight rate, cost, and so on in terms of getting your products out. You also need a broker to process all the documents, which includes the bill of laden, the shipping documents, all the necessary documents related to getting your goods from here to overseas, which include invoices and so on. Um, so you can't do all of this by yourself. You can't just pick up, and you have a friend in Trinidad who wants your product and you can't just the two of you arrange to export it. Well, you can, but there are certain things that you that that you require to when you uh, require to ex, um, export it you need a license like an export license or something to that effect usually the brokers have all of these elements in place mm -hmm. so the broker is the one especially if you are also not a not a full container load uh, product leaving the market if it's lower than a container load which is they call it LCL you would go through a broker or an agent or another shipper in which you consolidate your, your products together. It, it, it is very critical to understand that you will need different documents for different markets. Like for example, if you're going to the cargo markets, you need to get your invoice stamped with the trade board to approve that CARICOM certificate of origin, which gives you duty-free status, mm -hmm. right? If you're going to markets like, even in addition to markets like you're going to Ghana, for example, you need a, a, a certificate of free sale. That's what they call it, right? So you need those documents in order to get your products out of Jamaica and so on. But the list, list, the list are many. So what Jennifer. risk do you run if you try to do this informally between you and your brethren in another country? Well, the, the risk will vary a number, a number of ways. Like I mentioned earlier, the reg regulatory issues. Regulatory issues. Government expects certain documentations to be stamped and pre be precise by the authorizing body locally and then the customs official. What Jamaica has done recently is that we are now opening up what we call trade portals. So when you go on those trade portals, you will see all the necessary documentations that is necessary to, to, to well, export and import as well. We are not quite there yet because we are now moving towards the trade information portal. I can't remember the total acronym mm. for it, but that is when you can just go on and process all the documents, pay all your fees with customs, um, the licenses, and all of that. All of this sounds very complicated, Stephen. It sounds like a lot of work. Is, do you have a, a website or any type of place people can go to find out more information? Well, there are a number of places that you can go. First of all, you can also check with the JMEA. J, the JMEA will be able to process, tell you all the necessary documentation, all the necessary processes that you, 
you need to go through. You can check with customs, you can check with the trade board and all these agencies. The important thing is that all the agencies ties in and it's required to have them, you know, get a better understanding of how they operate to get it out there. One other thing I'd like to say is that when you also export, I'm going to mention that it's good to have credit insurance or insurance or ins the product is, is insured and also credit insurance. We tend to go through the Exim Bank in order to get our products or have a credit insurance facility. They call it special, um, yeah, a special facility for, for exporters in which you can assure that you will get at least a certain percentage of your money back in the event that that buyer Good falter. stuff. Good yeah. stuff. Well, for more information on that note, you can check out Exim Bank's website, EximBankJA.com. That's it for this edition of Money Moves. I'm Kalila Reynolds. See you next week. <laughs>